Hey, good afternoon. This is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Um, today I want to show you here uh, how to display those social media so based on the user's account information. So I built um, these forms using a jet form, a jet engine form and then profile builder. These are just account information, just regular stuff. And I use member press um, rather than jet engine here. So when user wanted to um, update their profile more detailed information, so I created this called my member profile. Uh, this is a membership website, by the way. So they can upload um, other information. So they can upload logos. And if they upload logo, it's gonna go up here. Now those like descriptions should be um, under uh, account. So, but anyway, uh, for those social media uh, links is gonna be under my profile, member profile. So here now it's blank, but once you fill this out, um, the URL and the icon is gonna appear. Yeah, so Jet Engine, you can actually uh, turn this just rather than like URL, uh, you can show just the icon based on those social media. So that's what I like to show you today. So we have get member organization directory uh, page here. I mean, this is gonna be useful if you are building some business directory, uh, listing company organizations, and you can add a smart filter uh, to um, navigate easily or like search easily. So I'm gonna just uh, put uh, my company name. It's gonna be here. So let's look at the profile. So the profile, again, so this is also used Jet Engine, so you can create a user profile page like this. And here, it's already there. My website is here. But again, so I don't have any categories or clientele served or social media. The reason is because uh, I haven't put any information yet. I haven't updated my profile info. So let's start with uploading logo. Yeah, I'm gonna probably fast forward this section though. Okay, let's refresh here. So now I have a logo here and I got uh, all the category and then the checklist has reflected that. Now let's uh, put some social media link. Okay, I'm gonna just copy and paste uh, these ones, uh, Twitter's. And then, no. Okay, YouTube, so I don't have Instagram. And I hit update. And then let's uh, refresh this page. And it should show up here. So let's just uh, click that with a different tab. Make sure that, okay, so that's me. And then Twitter, that's me. And that's me and that's me all right so yeah let's just uh, uh, show you what's uh, how I what kind of what kind of uh, uh, widget and uh, what kind of setting I have so I made a template so that's under Elementor template a uh, save template and then uh, so it's gonna be this member organization single page so let's open up with Elementor okay so um, yeah, this is kind of messy here because I have also volunteer uh, list as well on a volunteer single page. So it's only one template, uh, but I think organization it's here. You can see the social media here. Um, now, before that, I'd like to bring up uh, uh, Jet Engine, uh, Metabox. And I have those user meta and click that. Yeah, let me just put on the side here. On the side of our side, and then bring it here. Okay, so I'm going to just quickly explain to you uh, on the right hand side. So those are under Jet Engine MetaBox. So I have those uh, logo image that I up uploaded earlier, and the organization categories. Now on the bottom here, I have uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, those social media here. All right, so those are Meta field under users and actually quickly uh, show you uh, uh, form two so I have 
yeah edit volunteer uh, uh no member profile okay member profile here so let's hit edit so i think i have see like i, I got uh, those uh, facebook twitter linkedin and the form so that's what you see on the bottom here okay Yeah, so first you have to, of course, create uh, the meta box here. Now let's just go back to uh, this page. So on the social media. So I'm using, uh, it's called the, the uh, dynamic link. And uh, I, the, under dynamic, <laughs> dynamic link content, uh, the source is uh, Facebook. So once you create, see that the user, met, user, user meta, uh, you see Facebook. And the same thing, it's here, should be Twitter, pick that, and then Instagram, LinkedIn, it's kind of same structure. You can actually duplicate it once you set it up. And now here, so the uh, field icon. So you can pick a field icon. So in this case, Twitter, right? So, and I have field icon for each. So this is for Instagram. So this is, um, yeah, so you just pick a field icon here. And here, so hide if value is empty. Uh, you wanna turn this on. Uh, because uh, in my case, so I don't have Instagram. So if I don't have Instagram, so the icon doesn't appear. All right. So that's why you want to turn this on. Uh, as for styling, uh, I'm not going to go through that. But it's again, like if it's Facebook, I just pick this icon color. Uh, you can actually, um, yeah, pick different colors and you can have some padding, some margin. Uh, even like change icon size and icon gap so you can play with that All right, so um, what else and what yeah one last thing is you probably I'm gonna just talk quickly here and this address thing so you see um, you can put actually custom meta field because for this uh, I didn't use jet engine so I was using uh, member press different plugin to fill this uh, the register as a member. So each uh, field has a kind of unique meta value. So this is member press. So you see the kind of different kind of meta value here. So you can just put the meta value. Uh, all right, I think that's all for today and I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.